Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Crypto David and today we are talking about Quant QNT. Now if you've been on Twitter the past couple of days, past couple of weeks, you would have seen hype for Quant go absolutely crazy. A lot of big influencers jumping on the Quant train. You have to watch for that, especially with Quant holders, which I want to show later on the video because they will literally follow whatever the YouTuber does. They will invest in the exact same product they do. So if they have a big following, a lot of people are investing in QNT. But the title of the video is Quant is a once in a lifetime opportunity, especially in the market in terms of price, you know, $100, that's still relatively cheap to where Quant has been and where it's going to go in the future. And as I said before, the crypto market is comparable to the stock market in the 1980s. There's so much more room for growth. A lot of Quant news today and market news also. Should first time to the channel, please subscribe, leave a like down below. Without further ado, here we go. Okay, so if I were to think of the sectors that Quant is actually targeting, I can think of identity, telecommunications, finance, healthcare, supply chain, uh, cybersecurity, cross-border trade. There's so many to list. Well, here's actual use cases of QRC721 Quant NFTs. Let's read them here. Art, collectibles, tickets, digital twinning, securities, bonds, ETFs, supply chain, and loyalty programs. And most people forget that Quant is actually technology and blockchain agnostic. It's not held down to ETH. It can switch with the snap of its fingers. Also, when it comes to QRC721, Quant's partner Oracle has recently supported ERC721, so they'll inevitably upgrade to QRC721 and they'll have customers like Netflix and Zoom. That'll be insane. Also, we have the article here, unlocking the full potential of NFTs with QRC721. Let's look at some stats of actual NFT sales. So NFTs hit their stride in 2021, registering over $25 billion in total sales. And we also know why ERC721 is an inferior to QRC721. Here's a little part I want to read of the use cases so they can support an array of use cases. Users can tokenize art, media, collectibles, concert tickets, and make digital twins of real world products to support proof of prominence. And here's one of the first QRC721 NDAPs, Galileo Protocol. I'm not paid by these guys at all, but I thought it was a pretty cool concept. Galileo is a multi-chain protocol that tokenizes physical assets into NFTs, so like cars. Uh, watches and even jewelry and here we have the quant holders now it's going parabolic it is going crazy to upside now i'm seeing etherscan i'm seeing coinfi.com and i'm going to trust etherscan more it says 64,000 here and it says 70,000 coinfi.com but nonetheless look how parabolic the charts are now in two videos ago i think i talked about some guy with 100k followers 200k followers talking about quant on twitter and now we're seeing bitboy crypto 1.4 million subscribers on youtube now talking about it, and this could be contributing to the holders going crazy and again as i just said i do not know how accurate coinfi.com is but this is percent of quant on exchange and we see it go lower and lower every single time we're now at 1.17 percent if that is true that is absolutely crazy we are seeing supply shock happen right now also what we just talked about with you know half of youtube half of twitter talking about it but there's still huge gains to be made because with everyone knowing about it, the price isn't going too parabolic we are still at good buying energy points i'm very thankful that i picked up at 50 dollars 40 dollars but with all this fomo i might pick up some right now here we have more scarcity to talk about so drunk monk says quant supply is so limited that it won't take but another 8 to 12 months before you can even buy a full quant what's coming is inevitable and those who understand the utility quant provides knows this will be another Bitcoin story in one to three years. But if you think about the future, you know, we're actually, you know, we're quants actually at scale when a large portion of the world is using the Overledger network and millions, if not billions, if not trillions, is flowing through the actual network. It will be crazy. And when you think about regulatory clarity coming, a lot of these products being chopped off, being cut up, being, you know, stripped away, even if there was, you know, not as many, you know, there's 20,000 cryptos. If it was sliced down to even a 1,000 cryptos or less than that, even if it's sharing a 5 trillion, 10 trillion market cap are wondering what these cryptos will be in these top 10 top positions prices will be and we're seeing quant slowly move up the ranks in 42 position and i think it actually took over hedera at one point and when you think about hedera in specifics about the governing council are you really going to say that you know more about the governing council you know google uh, ibm lg so many on that list that you think of and when you think about quant do you think you know better than sia nexi uh, kpmg oracle and MIT, so many on that list. Do you think you know more than them? Here we have a tweet also saying only 0.17% of the population can own one QNT. It is like Bitcoin in terms of scarcity, but more scarce and has utility. When you think about how early you are with quant, look at the rich list. If you have 
over 120 QNT. Now, I don't know how accurate this is. You are in the top 10%. Even to be in the top 50% of these, you know, 70 or 64,000 holders, you need six quant or more. It's not that hard to be in these top sort of positions and one quant will be sought after. You know, I, that's why I said make the video saying I'd rather have $2,000 if that was an option where I couldn't buy quant. I would rather have five. And this comment down below the post is a bit of truth here. I certainly couldn't afford to buy anything. Trying to keep a roof over my head at the moment. Obviously, do not invest more than you can afford to lose. And that's what a lot of people didn't do at the peak of 2021 or more, I might say, after the peak when they lost all their money and didn't take any profit at all. Also, with quant, I've seen so many people sulk about how they haven't got any of these lower opportunities where one-digit quant or early two-digit prices. It's happened. We're past those points now, and I still say these are very, very good buying opportunities and points to get in. And even a couple of weeks ago, we were at these lower $40 and $50 positions with quant. It's the same with Bitcoin. People are constantly wishing they got into Bitcoin in 2012, 2013. We have quant right here in 2022. Also, time freedom. When quant announces gateways slash treasury slash payment channels, hold on to your hats. Operators are incentivized to take as much quant as possible. This will be stuck in all the quant from exchanges driving the price higher. Supply squeeze calm before the storm. And a lot of people asking you, when are gateways? When is staking coming? It will come when the team is ready. And also they've been slowed down a lot with demand, inquiries and requests coming, especially from Oracle clients. And that's why they're hiring talent around the globe. You're seeing constant hiring while everyone is actually firing during the bear market. Also we have King Solomon. This is a point I made in my last video. Quant is trending, which is super cool. Wasn't trending at $43 though, just like other assets aren't trading at optimal opportunity positions. That's what I'm saying right now. I'm, I'm These are still good buying opportunities, but I'm holding back right now as I accumulated low points. But especially with HBAR not moving and XCC, I'm including heavily in them right now. Let me leave you guys with a little clip from Monty from LCX actually talking to Gilbert from Quant, obviously. And he's talking about in 2019, there were over 300 organizations using Overledger. He doesn't give an exact number, but he gives a reason why it's a lot more than 300 today or whenever the actual interview was taken. But that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. Be sure to follow me on TikTok, Daily TikToks. The one I posted yesterday blew up. 5,000 XRP will be wife changing. Pretty funny. Also with my actual thumbnails, I've hired someone to actually do new ones. I think that looks pretty sick. So there'll be new thumbnails on the channel. Appreciate everyone who watches, likes and comments my videos. But if you found the video, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like down below and I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Jamie is asking 2019, there was over 300 organizations using Overledger. Um, and how many are using Overledger now? Yeah, so thank you, thank you Jamie. Um, so that, that's a good question. So 2019, we were running uh, was Overledger 1.0 and then we, we migrated to 1.5 and then uh, 2.0. So, you know, each release we've had, you know, more people sign up and, and, and use the technology. So we had 300 organizations and, you know, users and, and then that back then. Uh, right now it's a lot more. So our developer portal is, um, uh, I, I don't know the number exactly off the top of my head, but, you know, we've connected all the different test nets. So you have interoperability between Ethereum and XRP and Bitcoin test nets. And then we also have done that for main nets as well. So all the users, um, if you need to use all the blockchains, you can actually use Overledger to access all the test nets at all the blockchains at the same time, all the mainnet blockchains at the same time. Uh, so it's a lot more, and, and um, I, I don't know the right number off the top of my head, but it's, it's more than 300.